What do you want to be when you grow up? This is a question that most of us were asked as children, and many of us, myself included, had no idea how to answer. But I'm sure that as children, and even now as adults, you cannot know all the career options available to you. Teacher, doctor, policeman, we know, but what about banking supervisor? Today, in our second episode of the ECB podcast Summer School, we want to jump into a day in the life of a banking supervisor. So the people who make sure that our banks stay safe. What does their work look like? What are the challenges? You're listening to the ECB podcast, bringing you insights into the world of economics and central banking. My name is Stefania Secola. Today, I'm very happy to welcome Ramon Quintana Aguirre, Director General of Systemic and International Banks. Ramon, welcome to the podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you. You join us today in part two of our summer school series on banking supervision. And you joined the ECB Banking Supervision in 2014. So you've been there since the beginning and have been leading several departments ever since. So Ramon, we rely a lot on your experience and knowledge today. And in our first uh, summer school episode with Elizabeth McCall, we talked about what banking supervision is and why it's important. For our listeners, uh, you can find the link to the first episode in the show notes. But today we want to get more into the people behind banking supervision and what they do to keep our bank accounts safe. To dive in, let's discuss how you got into banking supervision. Can you tell us what are the typical qualifications and experiences in this role? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Stefania. It's uh, very nice uh, to be uh, with you. Um, I think I came into banking supervision a little bit by chance, like many uh-huh. things in your life, your partners, your friends. Uh, I um, studied business administration. In, I come from Bilbao, and a very nice city in the north of Spain. I'm, yes. I'm Basque. And uh, I didn't know what to do after finishing my studies. So uh, a friend of mine told me that uh, uh, he was uh, catering for becoming an inspector at the Banco de España. You had to go through an exam. You had to study hard. Uh, they only got uh, the top um, people. And... Uh, so I did it. I, I went to Madrid and I had the chance of uh, passing uh, the exam. Wow. Uh, I've been a line supervisor for 38 years uh, already and uh, I've never get bored. I always felt it's a, it's a challenge. Uh, banks are not just buildings, are about people. Yeah. And uh, this work is about working in a team. I really enjoy the, the personal dimension. I... I think in terms of uh, deep diving more into qualifications, uh, Mm -hmm. I think that uh, banks are so diverse that it's very much about uh, 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 business administration. It can be engineers. The mathematical part also matters. It can be lawyers. It can be mathematicians. Very wide. Uh, So very, 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 uh, very, very wide. Um, in terms of experience, um, when we recruit people, uh, it's very much welcoming experience in the financial sector, yeah. in accounting firms, in auditing firms, and consultancy firms. So very, very uh, broad. Um, and, and I would highlight the, the, the people that I mentioned. Uh, that's what I love of this job, is not just sitting at your desk and uh, being mm. alone. You contribute to a team and you engage with people. And uh, that is uh, very, very relevant. And you have to be curious. Ah, Uh, tell us about it. (laughs) Curiosity is essential. So uh, banks are so large, so big, and uh, you are so humble. Uh, You supervise, if it's a a large bank, uh, uh, a business with 150,000 people. So you have to be focused and you have to be curious by nature because Mm -hmm. otherwise... Um, you won't be successful, in my opinion. So yeah. we're trying to learn all the time. Yeah, yeah. So apart from the qualifications, I think it's interesting to know a bit more about the job itself. So what do supervisors actually do and how does supervision work in practice? What do we do? So so we, we look at banks. Uh, we care about them being safe, sustainable. They take deposits. They drive those deposits to the economy through loans, and mm. they play a very important role. So banks have to be perceived as safe, um, and that's uh, 
our job. But by doing so, um, uh, we ensure financial stability in a way because in the end, if banks are safe, uh, individual banks are safe, uh, the whole system is uh, if safe. We have a particular, um, in my view, uh, particular um, job or relevancy uh, because we supervise 110 institutions, uh, the significant institutions in 21 countries, uh, 27 trillion of total assets. So I would say that with the Fed and with uh, the, we are the most important uh, supervisor in the world, at least in the worst of worlds. 27 so trillion. Trillion. Wow. Yeah. So that is huge. Twice uh, the European GDP. So that gives you the the sense, yeah. the sense of uh, how relevant uh, all this. Um, what what do we care about? In, in, in simple terms, it's easy. No, uh, we bank a bank to be uh, profitable. We want a bank to be well capitalized, with a proper liquidity, managing risks uh, in an adequate manner, with a good governance, uh, diversity uh, of mindset, skills, and so on. Very easy, right? Yes, uh, <laughs> on paper. But, on paper, <laughs> but not so easy to achieve. They compete with each other. And uh, and this means that uh, inevitably you have uh, strong banks and you also have weak banks. And uh, yeah. how to address uh, the the weak banks is is part of our job. No, it's essential. Yeah. Um, we try to reduce the probability of default of a bank. Uh, yeah. It cannot go to zero, but it's uh, that's our job. No, it's a. Uh, I, I like to think it's not such a, a well-known job because mm -hmm. uh, when we are successful, nobody knows the efforts that we do. Yes. Uh, when something <laughs> goes wrong, everyone knows. Yeah. And uh, uh, we are in the media. We are challenged, rightly so. So it's uh, sometimes it's frustrating no? mm -hmm. because uh, <laughs> it's only about... Uh, a failure, no? You're uh, never in the media if you've done the yeah, job well, it. no? Uh, <laughs> so it's important uh, you to know that and uh, the, the community, no, that you belong also uh, uh, to know uh, all our all our efforts. Yeah. Um, I think another relevant uh, feature is that we are interconnected in, in the uh, in the European supervisory mechanism. So it's not only about the ECB; mm -hmm. it's about the ECB in all the national competent authorities and national central banks, so 21 of them. In fact, they are more than us. So we are around 100,000 people. They are more than 3,000. That's also a, a part that I really like. It's about, again, interacting with other people. In this case, they come from other authorities, yeah. and we have to work together. Yeah. Uh, so um, how do we do this job? Uh, th there are different components. Uh, one is uh, what we call the joint supervisory teams that supervise these 110 institutions. I belong to one of them. And uh, these are people that are, uh, the job is to, to look um, on a daily basis to the banks mm -hmm. to ensure what I said before, that they have a, a sound strategy, a sound business model, that they run risks properly. Yeah. Uh, they have to look at individual risks, credit risk, market risk, operational risk, and so on, mm -hmm. and how they deploy controls. They propose uh, uh, the on-site work that we have to do, so uh, they are the cornerstone of, uh, of uh, our supervisory mechanism. And uh, so they do this job, as you can imagine, a close interaction with banks. Uh, mm. So looking at all the documentation, starting from the board, from the different uh, risk, risk committees and the daily uh, information about how they manage uh, risks. We um, have to engage with the management body. So uh, as I said, uh, the boards, uh, we, we have to come with our own conclusions in terms of uh, assessments of how they do their job yeah. and which are the main shortcomings in terms particularly of how they they manage risks. Mm -hmm. It can be a too high risk level. It can be weaknesses in controls. And we have to come with our uh, proposals to reduce, mitigate those risks. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the authority, so we can do that. We require, we recommend, we follow up, um, and the banks have to deliver. Yeah. In addition, according to regulation and very much connected to how the risk profile is, we can request more capital yeah. than the, the, the normal one, and we also do that. 
And in the end, if things don't work very well, uh, we can also we can impose sanctions. We can impose uh, uh, regular payments to address uh, issues. Mm, it's very delicate, no? Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. And can we go a bit uh, into your typical day? So once you arrive in the office, how could one imagine a day in in the life of a banking supervisor? What happens? I I steer uh, 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 an area that are general with two hundred professionals at the ECB. And, uh, uh, and and a bit more from the NCA perspective. So mm-hmm. we are in total more than 400 people. Right. So it's very much about meetings. <laughs> meetings, meetings, and meetings. I think I have, uh, on average, more than five per day. Okay. Uh, it can be at different levels with uh, the chair, with ACB reps. It can be with my team, mm-hmm. with the managers. It can also be with staff, with the joint supervisory team. Yes. So that is... Uh, part of a daily effort. Uh, I would highlight also uh, the engagement with banks. Um, Mm -hmm. I mentioned that the joint supervisory teams are the ones that conduct the daily uh, work, but it's also true that at some point senior managers have to pop in uh, when things are more relevant or Mm -hmm. not only interactions with the management bodies. So we do it together. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so that's another part of our job that I really like. And that engagement can be uh, at our request, but also can come from banks that they want to highlight uh, relevant topics. uh, Do they do that? Yeah, yeah, they do that. Uh, We also take decisions. uh, So uh, uh, this means that we we have to prepare the information to the supervisory board. Um, We also engage with uh, other supervisors uh, Mm -hmm. within the the joint supervisory team so with um, if it's a French bank with ACPR Bank de France um, uh, but also with uh, international supervisors such uh, as the the Fed in the US or sure. the PRA in the UK uh, we have our banks conducting business in in the countries and uh, otherwise uh, the American and British banks uh, do business in in, in in, in Europe, um, we are in charge as systemic and international banks of that part, and we also enjoy it. Uh, the, it can, that interaction can relate to how we do work, but can also engage uh, uh, about uh, particular banks no? yeah. uh, in all our jurisdictions. So it sounds like there is lots of exchange. Yeah, yeah. yeah? It's, uh, it's again people, people, people. 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 So it's in it's different uh, uh, dimensions. It may not look like that uh, from outside, right? Banking supervisors, uh, not necessarily people out there, our listeners, for example, might relate to this profession as uh, people, 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 but it is. Yeah, yeah, it's true that you could think it's more analytical work, sitting at your desk yeah. and uh, uh, that's part of the job, but uh, it's much more. It's about, in the end, uh, assessing a bank, and uh, in, in bank, it's composed by people. Yes. And uh, that's what I also like, so we have to uh, to be able to engage with them, to uh, to be at the level, yeah. um, and, uh, and that's not easy, as imagine. you can imagine. I can imagine. Um, what do you think is really the biggest challenge now that uh, you mentioned it's not easy? So what is the biggest challenge of being a supervisor? Is it what you just mentioned or there is more to that? As I, as I mentioned, um, our job is so relevant and banks can fail. They are so leveraged mm-hmm. and that it, it's important that um, in your daily job, you're, you're ready to justify yourself uh, mm-hmm. in the sense that you you've been focused, you've been risk-based, you try to understand when designing uh, where your efforts are going to be, uh, which are the weaker banks, mm-hmm. and for a particular banks, which are the weaker spots. Mm-hmm. Uh, so understanding that, um, it's it's essential. Again, it looks easy, mm-hmm. but it's not so easy. It's a lot of work behind, uh, uh, daily work, uh, looking at, as I said before, all the available information yeah. in the bank and also benchmarking uh, the bank uh, yeah. with uh, with others. So getting the right focus is important. Mm-hmm. We are not alone, so we do it collectively. We do it together. Um, I'm sure you know that uh, every year we update our supervisory priorities mm-hmm. um, for the whole uh, system and we roll it uh, over uh, the, the years. Uh, and that is again about uh, understanding 
the main risks, uh, in this case, not only related to a particular bank for the whole system, and we leverage a lot on the other side of the ECB, on yeah. DG Economics for the macro uh, environment, uh, also financial stability and uh, markets and so on. So that is, uh, is a common, um, common endeavor and common challenge. As the banks are so complex and they evolve so quickly, training is essential. Uh -huh. uh, it's very important to, to keep up. And so training, recruiting also plays a, a very important uh, role. And also leveraging on the expertise of our horizontal topic. And what is that you personally like most in this job? I, I, I like the purpose of this job. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of contributing to uh, the sustainability of uh, of the banking system. And if, in addition, it's a bank, it's a it's a, a business about uh, confidence of people, mm -hmm. uh, this means how important a job is and Absolutely. how difficult it is. Um, I like the the people dimension. I like uh, in both components working in the team. Uh, people tell me if I'm stressed. I'm, I'm never stressed because it's uh, it's not my single contribution. It's a, uh, it's related to the whole team and all the efforts are from the top managers and to the staff uh, uh, people in the ECB and in the NCAs. And I also like the the challenge of engaging these uh, CEOs, CROs, CFOs, uh, top managers, yes. and, and also like the challenge of this always evolving. I've been 38 years in this business. I'm always learning. Things are always changing and you cannot relax yourself. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, I also uh, uh, like that. And before we wrap up, uh, we always have a question that uh, we ask all our guests on the podcast. And that's for a hot tip linked to the topic we've just discussed. So what do you have for us today? Yeah, I, I will use my, my experience. No, I, I won't give names, but I I've seen um, a number of banks that at some point were very successful, so top-notch uh, in, in the countries and in Europe, and I've seen them failing uh, later on, um, 20 years ago, uh, later. Um, and for me, uh, the lesson learned is this business is very much about humbleness, mm. both bankers and ourselves. Uh, and uh, remaining always very vigilant, and it's about the fundamentals. So it's uh, an adequate governance with diversity, with checks and balances within the banks. Also, us uh, doing a, a good job, being well motivated, and uh, and uh, and willing to to engage and um, keeping up. Um, so for me, that's uh, I always. Uh, try to remember this, no? that mm. uh, the success in the past doesn't mean success in the future. Yeah. And uh, that arrogancy and uh, not uh, uh, keeping up with the fundamentals uh, can uh, prone you to a, a path that you don't want to take. Uh, so Yeah, interesting. Thank you so much. So I'd like to really thank you because this brings us to the end of the episode. And uh, Ramon. I, say, I repeat again your qualifications. Uh, Ramon Quintana Aguirre, Director General of Systemic and International Banks, is very long, but I think it says a lot about the great job you do uh, with your team and all the colleagues. Thank you so much for this conversation. Today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. You've been listening to the ECB podcast with Stefania Secola. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe and leave us a review. And in the spirit of Europe, I'd like to end in Spanish today and say hasta la próxima. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for listening.